Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parley here at Gray Manor to talk to you about some general recommendations uh, for choosing your first pipe or your first few pipes. Now, we're going to make this a mail call, so I'm going to read a little bit. Um, I have mixed feelings, as I'm sure many of you do, about reading uh, on my videos. I certainly can get more um, detailed and focused information out to you guys in video form if I read an email or something that I've prepared in writing. Because honestly, when I get in front of the camera uh, and I'm smoking a pipe, I talk uh, much, you know, slower, and uh, there are more pauses and that kind of thing. Um, so I like to do both. I like to do some more off-the-cuff videos that are more opinion. And, and if I really want to give you a bunch of um, detailed information, typically I read it. So that's, that's where the... Um, the idea comes from or the purpose behind uh, the mail call videos. If you guys don't like those at all, let me know. I'm sure some of you will, some of you won't. So that's why I'm going to continue probably to do both kinds of videos. Just so you know, for housekeeping's sake, I'm smoking a Savinelli Sienna. 626, this is a 9mm filtered bent apple. In it, I think I'm smoking, yeah, some black gold maple from Cornell and Deal. And I'm going to be making a video pretty soon about aromatics um, that I've been smoking recently. So look for that. So. I'm going to set this down actually so I can start talking or start reading. A lot of people reach out to me um, with, you know, I'm a new pipe smoker or I'm just getting started. I'm looking for my first pipe. What do you recommend for a pipe? That's always a tough thing for me to answer. Um, so hopefully this information uh, that I relayed to this person today will help a lot of you guys out out there. Um, so, let me read. Actually, I'm probably going to have to take my glasses off. Uh, so, this is from a potential customer. He says, I really appreciate your comments regarding pipe filters on both Spurgeon Piper and the Pipe Cottage. I was, I guessed it on both of those channels fairly recently. Not in not last week or anything, but uh, he says, I've struggled with tongue bite since I started in November of 2023 and often wondered why I, ex and often wondered why. I experimented with a filter recently and was immediately impacted by the difference. I'm reaching out for some recommendations. And then he goes on to say that he's smoking what he calls an Amazon special. Uh, which he's trying to get off of, and he wants it to own a, a real pipe. Um, but the options are a bit overwhelming. Any advice you have would be greatly appreciated. So, um, I sent him a pretty lengthy reply, uh, and there's a lot here, so let me try to get to it, get through it as fast as I can without fumbling over my words. So I said, thanks for the kind words. I'm glad my perspective of pipe filters has helped you. I know they were a game changer for me. Let's get you off that uh, Amazon special. <laughs> In any case, you've been to, if you've been to any of the sites of my larger competitors, you'll see dozens if not hundreds of pipe brands and thousands of shapes. It can certainly be overwhelming. I know it was for me when I was getting started, which turned into the philosophy behind the pipe nook. I only carry brands that I personally smoke and can personally recommend. So instead of having dozens of brands, I currently have five pipe brands, with hopefully a few more coming in the next year or so. 
And even within those brands, I don't carry every series. I try to find the line where quality meets value. Even with the limitations I've put into my curated selections, I do understand it can still be a daunting process to select a pipe. Let me try to put you at ease with a few things. Everything on my site has a personal recommendation from me, so it's hard for me to narrow down from that, at least not without knowing your personal preferences on pipes. However, if you're just starting out, you may not know what your preferences are, and I get that. So I'd say to pick a pipe that's not overly large or small, get a medium-sized pipe with a bowl diameter between 0.7 and 0.75 inches, that's typically the average for a medium-sized bowl, and a length of about 5.5 to 6 inches. Uh, from there, you may decide you would like something smaller or larger. That's my best advice for everything, really. Go with middle of the road on all choices for your first pipe or your first couple of pipes. Straight or bent? I'd go with slightly bent for a first pipe. That will tell you uh, if you like that or if you would prefer a straight or one with a steeper bend. For shapes, I'd say to stick with either a billiard or an apple. Those are the two most popular and common shapes. When it comes to filters, I always recommend charcoal filters. I have a few brands of 9mm, but currently I only carry Savinelli 6mm filters. Uh, because to me, the Savinelli 6mm are by far the best 6mm filters I've tried. But all the 9mm brands I carry perform very similarly to each other. I personally prefer a 9mm filtered pipe but they only edge out the 6mm charcoal filters by just a hair, so 6mm filtered is not a deal breaker for me. How much do you want to spend is also a factor. The cheapest route is a filtered corncob pipe by Missouri Meerschaum. They won't win any beauty awards, but they have no right to smoke as well as they do. And y'all have heard me say that over and over again. Rossi pipes are the cheapest briar pipes that I currently carry. And some are 6mm filtered, so stay away from the ones marked in the specifications as non-filtered. Uh, and I put, I put filtered or non-filtered and what type of filtered in all of my specifications on every pipe on the site. If you don't see that, I messed up, so contact me and let me know and I'll fix it. 9mm pipes are available in the Savinelli Sienna line, as well as Rattrays, although I'm pretty low on those at the, at the current time, and Peterson. Uh, Peterson also has unfiltered pipes, so make sure you get 9mm if that's what you're looking for. Be sure to check specifications. Uh, beyond that, and even if it goes against my recommendations above, pick out a pipe that you think looks good. If you think billiards and apples are too plain, and you like the look of a Savinelli 315 Prince or a 316 Pot with kind of a Danish flair, by all means, get one of those. You're the one who'll be smoking it after all. Many people ask me about whether certain pipe shapes smoke better, cooler, or if specific tobacco blends taste better in certain shapes, etc. I could give opinions, but that's what they would be, and those observations will vary between individuals. Another quick piece of advice, don't ever let anyone tell you that you're doing it wrong. If something works for you and it's not conventional wisdom, who cares? If it works for you and you're the only one who matters when it comes to your pipe smoking enjoyment, there you go. Anyway, I let this email get way too long. Let me know if you have any other questions and I wish you the best on your pipe smoking journey. So, 
that's just kind of a rapid fire machine gun um, set of uh, recommendations or observations about things I typically tell people when they ask me about um, recommendations on picking a first pipe or a first few pipes. Um, and I can understand even with that much detail and, and that much that I shared, people want me to say, well, buy a Savinelli 626, you know? That's the best shape for a beginner. I really don't think that's the case. There are so many great pipes out there, um, and I try to carry only those pipes that would work well, not only for a new pipe smoker, but for the seasoned veteran as well. Um, I can't carry everything that I might would recommend, but I don't think you could go wrong with the pipe uh, that I carry. So in any case, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. Um, you can always reach out to me on the website. I've got a contact page. Um, I love answering questions. If you, kind of like I mentioned in this letter, if you have specific um, things that you already know you like, but you're still having trouble narrowing down a selection, you could email me and say, hey, I'm looking for a smaller pipe or a larger pipe. Um, I'm looking for filtered or non-filtered. I'm looking for this kind of shape, you know, what, what have you. Um, I would love to answer those questions for you. So I'm just a phone call or a uh, email away. And we're going to leave it at that. Y'all be looking for my next video. Glad you got to see me, and I'll chat with you later.